Welcome to Galaxy Australia, the web portal for analysing your research data, providing hundreds of analytical tools, reference data sets, and underpinned by a national distributed compute infrastructure network. Galaxy Australia is accessible at newsgalaxy.org.au and is supported by all common web browsers, desktops, laptops, and mobile devices. Logging into Galaxy is a simple matter of providing your email, choosing a password and a public name, all accessible under the login or register button. Once you have registered on Galaxy Australia, you will be able to host your analyzable data here for a period of time. Galaxy hosts data histories. Each history can be an individual data set or an individual analysis type that is easy to rename based on clicking on the unmanned history button. We encourage you to name your data sets logically for your work. Getting data into Galaxy is a simple matter of uploading the data either from your local computer, an FTP location, or a web portal. Uploading from local, it's a matter of choosing the local file on your machine, clicking open, and clicking start. Uploading from a website is a matter of going to a website, in this case the Zenodo public repository of data, copying the link address, and pasting that into Galaxy. This one requires just the deletion of the cleanup at the end. And again, hit start. Galaxy will then administer accessing that website and bring the data into your personal Galaxy history. Galaxy works on a traffic light system of green, the file type is intact or tool has successfully completed. Orange, as seen here, for your tool is being processed uh, your data is being processed red or a something has gone wrong with your application of the tool and data combination and gray or data is queued. Tools are easily called either by their topic here, assembly, annotation, mapping, etc., or by knowledge of the file. In this case, we have a fast A file and I type fast A to bring up a statistics function on the file selecting the data set and hitting execute and that is as simple as running the tool in Galaxy. It will be queued, it will go to running and then it will go to resolve. At any time you can view your file as a data preview or data snippet by clicking on the file name, in which case you will see some structure, I guess, of the file format, in this case a bed file. If we click on the FASTA file, we see it has 10,000 sequences of format FASTA, and we can visualize those by clicking on the eye icon. Uh, as I've been talking, the FASTA statistics has finished on my file, and again, I can either start a snippet it or use the data view to see the results of my tool execution. One of the real powers of Galaxy comes though when you chain multiple tools together. That chaining of tools together in the Galaxy language is known as a workflow. One could create a workflow based on your history. That will be shown in our training tutorials. Or you can create one, in this case an unnamed one, by using a blank canvas and simply calling the tools that you wish to call into the screen. In this case, an input data set. And I'm going to pick FastQC tool. And then I'm going to pick multi-QC. I can chain all these tools together simply by dragging the output of one tool to the input of the next tool, the output of one tool to the input of the next tool. If the arrow goes green, that's an acceptable function. This has now changed two tools together on an input data set and all it requires is a single click of the button for me to execute as many tools as I've chained together in a workflow. Thank you very much and have fun processing your data on Galaxy Australia.